Coming from your mother's basement, it is Bad Apache and Sauce Master. Together we are Bat Master. Bat Master. Ah, uh, you're off. We got the hand gestures right, but the hand the Ah, uh, there's a delay. Yeah. We'll never get it quite right. Nope. I mean we did pretty well that first time, even though I only caught three fourths of it. <laughs> Okay, so again, we are on the uh, terrible, abysmal, all that is monstrosity, shattering, mon- yes, monstrosity. That uh, uh, mm, sorry, trying to keep myself together. Um, Gag reflex, Dragon Ball uh, Evolution. Uh, okay, I got it out somehow. Somehow, um. First so, things first. Just first things first. I just got to say this: there was going to be a sequel. Thank God it didn't happen. Thank the Lord Jesus, whoever your deity is, that there is not a sequel. Thank the God or of your, anime. Yeah, thank the God of anime that there was no sequel. <sighs> just, just imagining that. Yeah, it was going to be bad. Piccolo probably would have come back as Frieza somehow for some <laughs> His new his <laughs> It'd be that pink dude. That what that dude that dresses in the skin tight pink suit but white. And he's just hey. yep. No, they would you know what they would have messed up on if they had made a sequel? What everything Hercule would have Hercule would have actually been a powerful person. I don't think in any interpretation of Dragon Ball, Hercule could ever be powerful. But that's the point. That is the point. Hercule would have actually been powerful if they had made a sequel. And Krillin would have owned rather than being owned. (laughs) If he even showed up. You know what? That's another thing that bugged me. Where was Krillin? I, I don't know. They probably didn't have the money. I mean, what? It was only $30 million budget. So they probably couldn't afford to have Krillin as a character, which is stupid. But I, I mean, again, this this the person who made this is great. Did a great job with... Uh, I Excuse me. Let me restate that. Did a great job in other movies. It, it just did a terrible job with this one. I don't know. Camera's lagging. Oh, what were you, what, what you going to say? Sorry, before I interrupted. I That just appalled Oh, me uh, the, the uh, guy that played Goku. Uh, Justin Chatwin and Enemy Rosen are both in Shameless. Oh my god. Yeah, Emmy Rosen is the older sister, and Justin Chatwin is the shady boyfriend that, like, disappeared after season three. That's probably the only job they could get, because that was not supposed to be a big hit. They did not expect that to be a big hit. Yeah. In the U.S., and yet now it's like, holy shit, Shameless. Well, it was kind of the same thing with The Office. Yeah. Because the British office was terrible. (laughs) Agreed. I mean, it was good for what it was, but agreed. Is my camera lagging? We don't know where we're going. Are we going to Gene Wilder this year? (laughs) Yes, absolutely. We're going to Gene Wilder it. Um, I, I don't know the words. Damn it. I don't either. I just know who Gene Wilder is. Anyways. Um, so. Gotta. Ooh, gotta. Got notes. Shake her up. Um, so. I didn't even get through my five of these. Um, but let me see here. A point that I really, really, really. Wanted to bring up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. There, There's. Oh, my God. There's actually more of this out there. What do you mean? Oh my god. 
there's Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope, which is a live action Dragon Ball Z. Oh, dude, there's a ton of live action interpretations that are like super low budget same, and terrible. Made by the same person. Made by uh, Ben Ramsey. Oh my god! I, Seriously, I don't... man should not be making movies. No, or anime, anime, yeah. animated movies. The movies that he does, I think, was it Steel Eagle or something like that? Oh my God! There's more. They they made. Oh Lord. Oh my God! There's more out there. There's Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope one, two, and three. Oh boy. I'm disturbed. And then there's another one. Oh my. God. Uh. <laughs> we'll we'll sorry. just leave it to you guys in the comments if you want us to uh, check those out. We'll go ahead and give those a shot, but uh, please it's don't torture us. You want to know what the uh, you want to know what the budget was on it? Ten dollars. Ten thousand. That's close. I thought you froze for a minute. Oh but... No, I'm sorry. I'm just disgusted. I'm I'm really just disgusted by it. I want to know why my camera is acting up. I don't know. Oh, never mind. It's not the same director. Never mind. My bad. I I thought it was the same director. My bad. My bad, James Wong. My bad. It's probably a masterpiece compared to this, to be honest. Doo -doo. God, I got the song stuck in my head. Uh oh. Camera difficulties. Ah. I'm uh I'm gonna freeze my camera for I'm gonna hide my camera for ah. a little bit while I fix this. All right, we'll keep talking, bud. Yeah, no, I'm gonna keep talking. Um. But this Krillin doesn't exist. Biggest issue. Ugh. Yeah, okay, okay. Let's talk about the Kamehameha wave. Or Kame, Kamehameha. The Kamehameha. The, that thing wave. Why, in God's name, there we go, did they not even use that name? They, what was they it, used the, the Kamehameha. They just yeah, didn't, they didn't say it, wave. But they didn't call it the Kamehameha. Yeah, they did. They did? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, they call yeah, it the Kamehameha Wave. Yeah, um, I, I didn't get myself through that entire one. Or, well, they didn't call it the Kamehameha Wave, but they said Kamehameha. Yes, but... Like, uh, when break, Goku break. was, like, near death from getting kicked in the face. <laughs> so fucking dumb. Um, Roshi used the Kamehameha... Like, he said Kamehameha... As he like pushed energy into his chest to like start his heart or like wake him up or keep him from dying somehow. Yeah, I. Was I. Cole, you have you have more talking points on this one. Yeah, no, I do. I have a ton of talking points. Okay, so, um, let's see. Excuse me. Number one, Roshi. Actually, no. I'm I'm skipping ahead. I need to I need to start from the beginning and then work my way down to the end. Um, we already talked about Roshi not being pervy enough. Yangcho right. was we agreed a decent ish character. Um, start for dude. Though. Yeah. <laughs> um, but there is no Chaozu. There's no Krillin. There's no Tien. There's no Puar. There's no Turtle. 
the turtle the, the turtle could have been done so easily. Yeah, the turtle like, could have been like, easily done. You know? They just had him in a tank and it would have been like, oh shit. Yeah, no, at least like spoilers. Like, I mean, even in when they did Lady Ghostbusters, they did a bunch of like spoofs or, and like spots yeah. where for like the original guys. Like they had a yeah. bust of one of the characters and, you know, all the other ones would have cameos throughout the movie. Yeah. Um, no. But yeah, no, screw it. We're just going to give you an orange stick. That doesn't even extend. That does not extend. If we want a stick, it better extend. Extends. Um, well, Bulma is way too B B A, man. He's way too B I, B A. I'm reading... I'm reading reviews and oh my god, you ready? Uh, uh. There's somebody who gave it a fresh score. Yes. Okay, I want you to read their name and their Aaron comment. Hillis. Aaron Hillis, Village Voice, top critic. Evolution is far more entertaining than it, des than it deserves to be, unless you're a 10 year old boy, in which case it's only the greatest movie ever made trash you suck he is he has no idea what he's doing yeah I, exactly that's awful that's god awful <laughs> like you got people sorry i'm, I'm just kind of the uh like this one the film is crammed full of treats for old school dragon ball fans even this one's a terrible one for everyone else this amounts to another seen it before probably willing to see it again distraction a passable collection of Explosions and special effects for a slow film weekend. She rated it a C minus. It's an F woman. There it is not crammed full of treats for old school dragon ball fans. It is crammed full of trash. It smells, therefore it is. Is <laughs> I like this one. There are balls of lint smarter than Dragon Ball Evolution. <laughs> Yep, I 100% agree. Who, quote, who quote? Uh, Charlie Jane Anders, uh, just a random reviewer. Well, Charlie, you know your shit. <laughs> and then there are fewer, depress fewer depressing sights than Chung Chow Young Fat performing stilted waifu in a Hawaiian shirt. They didn't even get waifu. Right? Waifu. <laughs> Whatever. Waifu. Oh, I get old it. wire foo. Oh, you know, yeah, it. no, I just I understood I what you were talking, what he was actually saying. He's talking I about the, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you if you haven't caught on, uh, what what he meant when he said wire foo is wild. in old Chinese and you know just ju just in general martial arts, uh, movies back in the day when they wanted to do like the magical flying dragon kick or something, you know, you could totally see wires coming off their body as they were flying through the air. Um, there's actually a uh, this super super funny like it was a it was a movie to make fun of kung fu. Like uh, you had uh, it was like uh. <sighs> What is it called? It was the MacGyver. MacGruber. Yeah, it was a MacGruber kind of deal <laughs> where he would, it, you know, it was the equivalent of MacGruber sticking celery in his butt. <laughs> um, yes, but that was done very well. He made MacGruber. nunchucks out of, uh, of uh, ground okay. hogs. MacGruber is done extremely well, and it hits the points that it needs to hit. It really does. Yeah, it that, makes you laugh. It makes you laugh perfect. like very, very much. Definitely. It, it, it's the perf that one. Honestly, if you were to compare the two, the you know Dragon Ball Evolution and that, that's it, a better movie than Dragon Ball Oscar Evolution. Award. That if you compare them, MacGruber is Oscar award winning. You know oh yeah, I mean? no, everyone should have an Oscar if they were in that compared to Dragon Ball Evolution. Um, but back, okay, back to my point though. Sorry, uh, Bulma, because you totally interrupted me with she's your reading badass. comments. She's too badass. She's not a hand-to-hand -hand combat expert. 
and she does not know how to properly use a pistol. She is a 16-year-old girl trying to find the Dragon Balls, not to create a almighty, powerful power source to help humankind. <laughs> she wants a boyfriend. Yep. That is her ultimate goal. She wants a boyfriend. And then yeah. they wish for panties. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, no, it's just her whole character just completely irks me because like it's cool that they did like you know she's super powerful and whatever but they screwed up the character design uh you know aesthetically and they gave her way too much power like bulma definitely had a lot of swaying power in dragon ball and she still does in dragon ball z dragon ball super even uh, if you go to dragon ball gt you know uh, she's yeah. there to be a powerful uh, female character that's also still, you know, giving out that fan service up and, you know, into her 40s. Um, yeah. And uh, but they did it. They did it in a completely different way because Bulma is supposed to be. That sweet princess at first when you meet her, because she's trying to give you the good impression. But then when you do something stupid. She will knock you down. Yeah. Like. But. But she shouldn't. She shouldn't be that badass. They they just overdid her. Yeah. Too much. Ow, cat! Please stop. They crying. did the capsules good though. Yeah, that was. Uh, the, there you go. A positive. That's yeah. Like no. If I if I'm gonna put so two positives right now, Yamcha, decent character, capsules. You know, at least they were in there and they showed them a couple times. And that's, you know, that's that's part of Dragon Ball Z is those capsules. Well, the Although, thing is, you got to go with this with Bulma. She's a she's a scientist. Yeah, she's not. She always was relying on the devices and everything that she had. She wasn't relying on her fighting strength. Or yeah, no, she had no fighting skills. If she had a weapon out, it was a bazooka. Or a pistol. <laughs> Brute force. Brute I force. Mean, she did. They do, they do get it right where almost, almost where she shoots Goku. They almost had that. I know, right? Like Goku is supposed to have like bulletproof skin, basically. Yeah, they, they missed it. They, they missed they, it. They one hundred percent missed it. Um, and then you know later in the show, you know she kind of gets, like she she's she's a super aware character, which they I think they got that right about her at least. Uh, when it came to her actual character development or character design, because she was obviously she was the first one to notice the Dragon Balls were gone. You know, she pays attention to her surroundings and that's kind of her her deal. She like looks at shit and she, you know, sees things around her. Um, oh, one second. I think that's his. His door dash food. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, I mean, altogether, her character design isn't terrible, but in the first place, it's not correct, and they didn't do her character justice. Mostly, mo I mean, it's it's both the aesthetic and the personality when it when it when you put it down, you put everything on the table. Um, they did get the gadgets right. They did get her, you know, intuitiveness right. Um, but that's it. Those are the only two character designs that went right. Um, Piccolo's monsters are complete idiots. Terrible, terrible character. I mean, they're basically goop monsters. They have no actual solidity to them. They're 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 like green snot Majin Boos. And they multiply. You know, that's not how that's not how it works. And also I don't think Goku has actually ever held a blade. 
So him cutting them in half and stuff with a blade was weird. I mean, it's not something that I can critique all that much because, I mean, I really don't care what weapons he uses, but I just, I found it odd, I guess. Honestly, I think they should they should have played more into the tournament that Goku was in. Or, well, not Goku, that uh, Goku found, you know, in the midst of searching for the Dragon Balls. And uh, Chi-Chi was actually in it, and that's uh, part of the plot line is, you know, Chi-Chi was the secret martial arts person at school, and she decided that she wanted a tournament with her. They could fight, because he knows how to use Chi. Sorry. What Food. were you saying, though? Um, so I was just, I finished up my thought on Bulma, and I was talking about how they could have played more into Piccolo's mindless monsters. Like, they're just, they were very disappointing and completely unnecessary. Um, they should have stuck with him creating a drum and, uh, I always forget the other one's name, but like, there's two actual guys that come out of Piccolo and they have intelligence, they're martial arts masters. I feel like they should have been incorporated and put into the tournament. Like all of them should be should have been incorporated into this tournament that Goku was going that was going that Go that Chi Chi was going to invite Goku to attend. Yeah, they that was the other thing. The fucking tournament. They were like, oh yeah, there's a tournament. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna just throw that in there. Yeah, they just Goku. totally they glossed over a perfect opportunity to show for... his power. Yeah, the show is power, and like, also, you know, they could have seamlessly integrated Piccolo's monsters had they had intelligence and a proper design. You know, we gotta realize we gotta realize how whitewashed this one was, though. It was terrible. It was terribly made, though. It it, it it's a huge disappointment because you know exactly what we wanted. Oh yeah, no, that's that's the other Spain, thing. We wanted to have hmm. Yeah, we all knew it wasn't gonna be perfect. That that's a, a no dub, but real quick, wanted... I just wanna point out on my screen here I did review for one star. And are you serious? Anyways, um so yeah, no, they totally missed an opportunity there. They could have incorporated those monsters into the tournament. You could have had you know, some dramatic martial arts deaths and some stare downs, uh, a perfect opportunity to show off some different martial arts from the show. I mean, you could you could have even thrown in some uh, actual main characters, you know, that should have been there, like Krillin, Krillin, <laughs> Yen, Chao Tzu, Puar. Puar is a very important character for Yamcha because Yamcha as much as I did like the Yamcha in the show, he is not a courageous person without Poir because he is no. super nervous around women. He has gynophobia, basically. <laughs> Which I'm pretty sure is the fear of women, I, not just vaginas. <laughs> I Don't You're quote like, me. Oh God, don't right. quote me on it. Uh... But yeah, no, that tournament was a complete waste. I mean, they they it, it, the way they incorporated it, they might as well have not even put it in the movie at all. I I yeah. I think they just wanted to show that Chi-Chi was a fighter. Ooh, Chi-Chi Which they could have done way yeah. earlier. Like she could yeah. totally beat up on uh Chad and the Chads. <laughs> fucking those were those are fucking dumb dumb. And, and and it was it was such a corny bully too because they're like how's it going Geeko? Yeah. really are you that like brain dead developmentally challenged that you can't come up with a better insult so yeah. dumb so well dumb. the writers probably couldn't come up with a better insult either <laughs> I mean honestly let's see hold on. Yeah, no, Ben Ramsey is not the kind of guy that does quips. I've seen some of his movies, 
and his characters are very straight get to the point guys they do not have you know one liner quips they're not, not like they're not yeah they're not die hard characters they don't beat you up and then say a really funny like line like you know yippee ki you know yeah yippee ki motherfucker <laughs> yeah um but i mean altogether it was it, i know we're saying it's terrible but Man, <laughs> just, yeah, he just we it, can't it, even explain how terrible. Like, we need a whole like, week, we need a week long session of just talking about how terrible this movie is. But unfortunately, we're trying to cut it short. Um, the next thing, uh, I have here is the Ozaru design. Ugh. It looks like a monkey suit from a badly made sci-fi movie about a killer it monkey. Like, it looks like they grabbed something like from the original uh, Planet of the Apes. No, it no it, it look no it, it's the it's the horror movie version of that. Yeah. I mean, what is with all of the the you know, eyebrow crests and like forehead folds? You know, Klingon, Klingon looking mofo. <laughs> yeah. And he didn't burst out of his clothes. There should be some battle damage going on. You know, he's supposed to yeah. be a giant monkey. And he's six feet tall. Yeah, maybe. Maybe he's supposed to be a giant unbridled rage. It, just destroying everything, but. Honestly, no. I think they should have just taken out the whole giant monkey thing anyways, just for the fact that they would try and do the transformation if they did it properly, and then have him come back with at least pants on, which in any version of Dragon Ball that you've ever watched, the only way that they get pants, they get to keep their pants, is if they're wearing a Saiyan soldier uniform, because they yeah. stretch to fit your great ape form. But any time Goku, Gohan, or any other Saiyan not wearing armor, they destroyed their clothes. And people would be like, bro, why has he got pants on? He just turned into a 60 foot tall monkey. <laughs> yeah. How just, does he still you know, have I, just the whole pokes, you know? The whole pokes. Um. Also, they should have just called it the like the Great Ape or something like Ozaru. Really, you had to make it sound like some Chinese folklore. <laughs> like, come on, come up with something. Do I mean. do do better. Do better. Be better. Make good choices, and that's what my aunt always says to to my to my make cousins. Good. She says, "Have a nice day. Make good choices. You had a great day, and I you did not make good choices, gentlemen." Did very poorly. Um, where's the Nimbus? Yeah. Um, Nimbus is nowhere to be found. First off, I think because of, I'm gonna give them this. They had 30 million to work with. They could have easily created a Nimbus on a super low budget. They they, they probably spent like two million on the monkey. They could have lit. Yeah, no, they they spent a ton of money on the monkey thing, which could have been put towards the Nimbus. I would Anything much else? rather have had the Nimbus. I, um, they they missed. Although they, at, they, at the same time, they, when I bring that up, I do have a hard time seeing where it would fit in the movie as a live action. Um, because Goku is the only person that can ride the Nimbus. And he is a pure of heart character, but in the he's movie, not heart, he's not exactly pure of heart because he had he harbors thoughts of, you know, girls and stuff, you know? Yeah, he's a horny teenager. And then the, the other thing is, none of the other characters can ride it with the exclusion, exclusion of Chi-Chi. Which, Chi-Chi, I don't... Actually, you know what? Chi-Chi in this movie adaptation might be able to ride the Nimbus. 
Yeah, I think she'd be able to. Um, but, uh, you know, every other character can't. And, you know, at a certain point when uh, Goku got the Nimbus, he used it in two ways. He would either leave Bulma behind or whoever he was with, scout ahead, and he'd end up fighting. Or later, Bulma created a watch that could shrink her down and he could, she could fit inside of his clothes. And that would be way over their budget. Way over. And also, they would probably make that look like a Power Rangers Morpher, too. Dumb. Dumb. Like some Spy Kids shit. Yeah, some super bad Spy Kids. Some original Spy Kids shit. Um, not, not the more better CGI, if you can call it that, Spy Kids 2. Right. Uh, the Mafuba. Correct name. Uh, very similar to the original technique. Basically, the only difference between that and the anime, or or even the manga, is the color. Like the Mafuba is green, and this was yellow, and that's that's literally it. That's the only the only critique that I have about the Mafuba is the fact that when Roshi tried to use it against Piccolo. He was trying to use some kind of sacred urn or something that he got from this, you know, order of monks. And you know what? You know what he tried to imprison Piccolo again in once he came back in the in the manga and in the anime? A rice cooker. <laughs> you got to have your comic relief. Got to time it. Comic relief. I don't think they had any. Well, actually, you know what? Even even though it was a rice cooker, there was no comic relief because both Roshi and Tien died trying to put Piccolo into the container. Yeah, but and I can't remember if Chaozu died actually. I'm gonna have to go back and watch that episode because I know Chaozu was there, but I don't remember if he tried to kill him. I don't or if Piccolo. Just straight Didn't up killed him. Blow out. That, blow himself. that was with um that was with uh with um that was with uh Nappa. Ah, yes. Um I already mentioned I think the landscape in the sky before and the last one We have the other fat joining us right now. The other fat that's fat fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> um this one here just says Piccolo's character design is stupid as hell. <laughs> no antenna. No no there's just no the the, the antenna is terrible. The teeth. They did good on the jawline, but that's just because the guy playing were, him has a pretty decent jawline. Yeah, but they're also going to make him more human like and the thank god the actor did what he could to even get it that yeah no uh so yeah i definitely have to give my shout out right there to jane marsters for trying to fight for the proper character trying Um, he literally showed up in the green paint and everything and makeup and then they're like okay sure i'm just glad they didn't try and give piccolo hair (laughs) you know how weird that would look a namekian with hair i mean it wouldn't be anything worse than what they had already done. It would be like tentacles, I bet. <laughs> that would be super weird. Um, uh, Goku's tail. Where is it? Where is it? Nowhere. It's nowhere. It doesn't exist. Even though he, they confirmed he came from outer space, and he is definitely a freaking alien. No tail. Nope, no no saying tail. Um, I mean, the the tail is a very major trope for Goku as a teenager and as a kid, or well, not as a teenager, but as a kid, because it makes his character so unique and it brings attention from his enemies and stuff really well. And it adds a comedic relief. And then, you know, he beats him up with it. He just like they and, and it's his weakness. It's literally his only weakness. Yeah, it shouldn't be girls. To be his tail. 
you know, no, we got to we got to we got to make everybody relate to it. No. <laughs> You're like, "No, fuck that." And and honestly, they tried to pander to the normies on this movie so hard and they when didn't they even care. They should have literally like been like, "Let's go full nerd." Yeah, no, Let's for real. Go. If you're going to if you're going to do an anime adaptation, go all out because the only people that are going to pay for that are the people that are forcing the normies to come with them to watch it. And they're going to love it. And then you have the religious nerds that are going to come in in floods to support good content. And if it's yeah. not good content, they are going to rip your asshole in half. And then in into a quarter. <laughs> and then into eights. They're just going to keep ripping it. Um, which I'm honestly surprised that it's even at, let's see, where's the Rotten Tomatoes score? 15% and 20%. Yeah, no, it shouldn't even be that high. Yeah. There's too many normies that don't know anything that watch that and somehow liked it. I mean, someone gave it a fresh score, so... I yeah, mean, no, that's that person is... That, that person needs professional review. help. Um, What's a score? Who is this fucking dude? Excuse me, but who is this dude? Your mother. Aaron Hills. What else has he? Uh... Yeah, no. Let's bring up. Let's bring up Aaron Hills. I want to see if he just had one bad review or if he is a complete crackpot. I don't see anything. I freaking know. It looks like he's just a. Uh... Is he a C list movie reviewer then? I guess, like, dang, I don't see anything. Oh, Helen of Troy. Never watched it. Netflix Pee Wee's Big Holiday. Here we go. Here we go. He Let's reviewed Pee Wee's Big Holiday. Yep. <laughs> I want to hear this review. It better be glowing. Uh. And has no taste if he hates on Pee Wee Herman. Tim Burton's. Blah, blah. Puppet crowded children's TV that won 15 Emmys. Imaginative, maniacally imaginative, and very funny Pee Wee's Big Holiday. So he got. He got knows it. Okay. His pee he knows about his Pee Wee. <laughs> uh. Pretty messed up there. But he doesn't look like he uh, has any ratings on anything really big, other than Helen of Troy. Did Yamcha that do any martial big. arts? I don't know. I don't think he did. Because I made a note here, and I completely forgot when I rewatched it, where is the Wolf Fang Fist? Nowhere. That I, that I know. I know that that wasn't. Yeah, no, that I 100% know that wasn't there. Oop, that's his pen. thing. That is his, like... Yeah, that's 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 another key character thing, you know? But they Goku has his power pole, his tail, and the Nimbus. Uh, Yamcha has uh, Poir. Barely there. Uh, his fear of women. And, uh... They're not there. And his wolf fang fist. Not there. Yeah. Tien has a third eye. Well, Tien wasn't even there, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Krillin wasn't there. Like, can we just have, like, some... Krillin's Krillin got his moments? six dots. Can we... Could we have just had some Krillin-owned mo owned moments? Like, that's all we would... Who, who would did. play Krillin? That's my question. I want to know who would play Krillin. Because it'd have to be someone that is substantially st like shorter than Goku. And no offense to Justin Chatwin, but he is very short. Um, Hold on. So it would on. be hard to find someone. I got you. Give me a second. Short. Bald. Okay. You have... Uh, 
have Vin Diesel just cut walk around on his knees. <laughs> CGI some feet on him. Oh god, no. <laughs> Hold on, um, I got you. I got you. Ar- uh, Arnold Chan would have been an okay one. No, I got it. I freaking got it. The guy who played Mini Me. I was thinking about that, but he was. I think. Well, no, he hadn't died yet. He died. Oh my God! Yes. When did that, he die? You know if you're gonna whitewash it, do it the full way. And yeah. No. Guy who played Mini Me be Krillin. That would have oh, you know what? That would have made it that much better. To be what honest, what is his name? I for, always forget his name. I, I don't know, but dude, that would have been terrible with actor names. Uh, actor Mini Me. Awesome. I mean, that's small, but that's too small. No, no, Krillin was always. Oh no, 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 no. What do you got? What do you got? Dang it, I just said his name earlier and I can't remember his name now. Uh, Game of Thrones. I shave him. About that as well. Shave him. If he, yeah, shave. What is his name, though? I know, and that's killing me. I literally just... I mentioned him earlier. Right. God. Peter Dinklage. Peter Dinklage. God, I can't believe... I literally, like, not even three hours ago said his name. Peter Dinklage. Hold Peter on. Dinklage. Shave him from head to toe. Brillin. Six dots. Ah! <laughs> when I type that in, Peter Dinklage bald. You know who comes up? The actor who played Mini Me. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. That's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um. Literally, I've gone through all my notes now, oh, except my. for my final thought. Which is just Chi Chi is hot as AF. I'll give it to you. Yeah, but you know me. I'm I'm a straight up. I'm straight up into Asian girls. So Cole, when your sauce, when you get in your uh, when you get in your uh, Asian waifu, soon as she comes in the mail. <laughs> I don't know, man. Just overall, though, that movie... That movie missed on so many points it could have hit. And it wouldn't have taken any extra... Any extra any extra real push for it. The, the costume design, terrible. The choice on not having Bulma, having blue hair. It's... Now, you it said that that was the... Uh... That was, um, was that James Wong or Ben Ramsey, the writer or the director that made that decision? I think it was the director that decided against that, but they admit, they just missed. Yep, they, they missed their mark. They didn't have taken much. They, they shot their shot, shot, and they missed their mark. They didn't even take a shot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they closed their eyes. Well, no, they took a shot, but they closed their eyes. Yeah, they, they were waiting for the recoil. Or they even finished the movie. <laughs> I was thinking more like a bow and arrow shot. Oh God! They got Some, William Tell right. Like not a head. compound bow, like a straight up old school Robin Hood bow, because that's how small their budget was. It, dude. It, it honestly hurts me that they got done with filming and were like, "Yeah, this is it." This is good. I mean, isn't there supposed to be a focus group or like a, a, you know, viewing or something beforehand where people can say something or. You know, yeah, they or, probably brushed it all like, oh, whatever. These oh, big boy. old freaking nerds. The biggest issue was. Everything. Not having the original writer. 
Akira Toriyama. Involved. Yes. Like, they didn't involve him. He was Well, you know what? There's probably one specific reason they didn't involve him, and that's because it would have made them work. Also, he I probably guess. would have forgotten those same exact characters they didn't include in the first place. <laughs> I'm sorry, Akira Toriyama. If you ever see this or you hear about this, I love you. I love your work. I love everything Dragon Ball Z. But you a forget lot. your characters a lot. I mean, how do you forget, you know... A character. A character, like... That you created. That you create. yeah, that you created. Now, I don't mind that you named everyone after a vegetable, or a body part, or a pair of pants. You know what? That's, 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 that's that is your great. That is your inclination as a creator. You do you do that, but when you forget to include a character that was a pivotal, like growth, like involvement of the growth of your main character in the next chapter, like you like he he he. I think honestly, he feels bad about it. You know what I mean? But it's oh, I'm like sure. I'm I'm sure. You know. And it's funny because uh, the character I'm talking about, yeah, what is now? I'm forgetting. I'm forgetting launch. her name, but I remember. Launch. launch. Yeah, launch. Like she was the first Super okay. Saiyan. She was the first Super Saiyan. <laughs> first every one. Time to... Every time she sneezed, she turned into a Super Saiyan. Oh. Well, she changed between a Super Saiyan and not. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, she, uh, launched, like, the only time that she came back in Dragon Ball Z was after an interview where he was asked about the character, she showed up for an episode. Yeah, he was- And it's, it's was, so, it's so unmemorable, I barely even remember the actual episode. I remember her at a house, watching Tien leave. Well, here's the thing, that's- I know I'm not using the word properly, but that's good fan service. You know, I don't mean it, you know, ooh, fan service. Mm. No, good fan service would be Android 18 in a bikini. I think that happened. <laughs> what was uh what was Krillin's girlfriend's name? The one that looked like Bulma but stupid? Hold on. I, I'll get you. Because I remember her. I can't remember her name. She showed up. She was she was there during the Cell Saga. And they broke up just before they had to fight Cell. Baron? Baron. Yeah, no, because that's his kid's name, too. Which it's funny because when they bring it up in Super, when they're introducing, or like I guess not introducing, but like they're because they've met each other before when the kid was born, but they Android seventeen and eighteen just don't talk a lot. Um, he called her. He he said her name incorrectly, and it made it sound like Krillin's ex's name, and so she's like correcting him and giving him the death stare. No, it's Marin. Yeah, I was going to say it's M A R R O N. Yeah. Or M A R O N. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of funny, though. Uh, I didn't realize that's how they broke up. Krillin breaks up with her after Krillin realizes that she's too good for him. She reveals that she would have agreed to marry him if he had asked, but she is picked up by a buff man in the sports car and leaves. Never seen again. Brewer, <laughs> I, I I hate I hate characters like that. Glad she's gone. I'm glad Andrew at 18. You know, the proper love interest. Yeah, agreed. Um, so did, did they where, ever where have any we... more kids? I don't I think so. So, let's come to the rating of this movie. We already know we give it one star, but your true grade. 
all everything through everything, grade after rewatching after, after discussing everything about character flaws i give and it a, all the good and the bad all of the good and the bad i'm still gonna have to rate it at a one one out of ten one well one out of ten if we're going one, one out of a hundred i'd say like 15. So where everybody, I, I gotta go with the twelve-ish is where, because it, it's got its little spots here and there, but it missed the mark. Yeah, no. Way. In itself, it's a terrible adaptation of a great anime, and they missed a lot of different character designs. But it was it was, was semi entertaining yeah. if you don't know what it was, yeah. or what it's supposed to be from. So you know, at least you have the wow factor for kids that have never actually seen the show. Um, it's probably only a 30. But all of the weebs <laughs> and the otakus and the nerds popped a blood vessel watching this atrocity. Even even if you don't know it, like anything about it, I think you only give it like 30 out of 100. Yeah, no, if you if you if you if you if you watch the movie with zero knowledge of Dragon Ball at all, I I would probably assume you with if you were in your right mind. If you're drinking while you might give it a. Fun. Yeah, if you're drink, go to your local theater that has a bar inside. <laughs> Get yourself a Jack Daniels and Coke slushy. We we have those at our theater. Pretty great. I love what. Real quick, okay, so. What is the worst movie you ever saw inebriated? Either in theater or at home. Yeah, you, you gotta you gotta go for it first. I gotta think. Seventh Son. Me and some buddies, we went to Me and some buddies, we went to Dave and Buster's, completely just hammered, went to the movie theater to watch this movie, got more beers. I, that movie literally sobered me up. And I guarantee Dragon Ball Evolution would have done the same exact thing had I been old enough to drink. Actually, you know what? It would have, I would have watched it drunk, sobered up, and then went to get drunk again so I'd forget about the movie. See, I haven't drank while watching any bad movies. I drink while watching good movies. You call me an alcoholic? Oh, wait, no, I have. Never mind. I was actually drinking while watching The Incredible Bulk. Which is the worst movie. Still better than Dragon Ball Evolution. What was that? Um, what was the whole point of The Incredible Bulk? They were, and people were just getting really impatient about The Incredible Hulk. And. No, it's just somebody had some money on the side and made a really terrible terrible with lots of stock footage there's a stock footage of like that dog in a helicopter in it too or in the plane in it like what it, it is oh my god never mind it it is worse than it is worse than dragon ball evolution it is objectively worse it is objectively worse but it doesn't. It's not by much. <laughs> not by much. Give it that. A, give that a ten I, out of a hundred. Hold up. I'm gonna actually look what it gets. Ow! 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 Cat, stop! Stop grabbing my leg. Ow! Yes, I know you want you want attention. Hold on. I am gonna. <gasps> ow. The Incredible Bulk is not on IMDb. Amazing Bulk? Hold on. Worst oh. movie of all times. Hold on. I, I have the title wrong. Is it The Amazing Bulk? The Amazing Bulk. There we go. 1.7 out of so 10. I think it actually beat out 
I think it actually beat out, oh my god, audience scores 48%. It actually did worse than Dragon Ball Evolution. In what? Stars. Oh. It no, got a 1.7 out of 10 on IMDb, and Dragon Ball Evolution got a 2.5. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. This, I love how audience score on this is actually just sub, sub 50%. Because you know going into it, that's the thing about this. You know going into it, it's a terrible freaking movie. For a minute, I thought the director's name was Louis Scrotburn. It's it's Louis Shoeburn. Yeah, no. At least with that movie, you go in knowing that it's a shit. It, it's just a piece of shit movie. So you're. You're gonna give it better scores because you know it's a shitty movie. I love I love the character names. Megan Falcone as Hooker. The thing is, you go to watch Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Evolution thinking, hey, this is the live action that we've been waiting for. And yeah. That's the difference. That's why, although it is objectively worse than Dragon Ball Evolution, I would rate it higher, I guess, now that I'm thinking about it, because I know it's a terrible movie going into it. Alright, well, time's about up here, so let's go ahead and finish her up. Um... So yeah, overall, Dragon Ball Evolution, for me, 15 out of 100 stars, 1 star out of 10. I can't give it any lower. I mean, if I could count, if I could without sounding dorky, because I have to exactly put it in a decimal, you know, it's still, I mean, it's 1. But, uh, you know, overall. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Overall, so. terrible. So yeah, go ahead and uh, not pay the three ninety nine on Amazon Prime or Hulu, or well, not Hulu. You have to have a stars for Hulu, but just don't bother. Go, go. Don't go to Vudu. Don't go to Amazon Prime. Don't waste your time. Um, unless you have, unless you have like a weird like drinking game. Drinking game, yes. Yes, no drinking game for every inaccuracy. You're gonna die of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> um, Twenty minutes in. Yep. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the end of it. Uh, stay tuned for the next video next week. Hopefully we will not have any technical difficulties this time. Uh, and I believe I'm all set up. Uh, we will be doing our review for the, uh, wise man's grandchild. Great show. I'll just put it out there right off yep. the bat. Yep. I believe it's a really good show. Uh, definitely check out the uh, manga as well. Um, I would recommend using. What app do I use? I mean, yeah, Hulu no, app. it's 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 on Hulu. You can watch it on Crunchyroll. Uh, if you want to read the comic, because the comic or the manga does go further in the storyline. So if you get to the point where you want more, uh, you can check it out on uh, what was Manga Zone, which is now Manga Rock Pro. Uh, you can also check it out on Manga Reader. Now, I don't, I'm not, I'm not by any means pushing these apps. These are are apps that use scanlations. Um, so if you can, please read it on a uh, paid source so that we can support the creators. Uh, I mean, you're gonna have to if you want to watch it on Hulu or you know. Crunchy roll, so please, please get, just go ahead and enjoy the anime. And if you do have a site where you can watch, you can read it for pay and pay to read. Please do. Um, Ed, in fact, it's it's only twelve episodes, very quick. Great, yeah. Honestly, not gonna yeah. get my rating yet, but great show. Yep, yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely in my top uh, fifty. Um, I'm actually watching the final episode tonight. I have not quite finished it. Pretty impressive for him. He's very slow. <laughs> um, 
so yeah check us out here on youtube we're live every friday unless with technical difficulties uh you can also catch us on twitch under my pseudonym sauce master i hope i use that word correctly um sauce master zero one uh you can also ch uh, check out our patreon uh leave a donation if you'd like and uh we're also on Twitter and Instagram. So uh, please hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you later. Uh, I am Sauce Master. I'm Fat Apache. And we are Fat Master. Master. That's terrible. <laughs>